Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwadash. Double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's continuing in the work of the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai, and all fear, Shalom. I want to get into one of the biggest cunningly devised fables that mankind ever believed. One of the biggest lies that mankind has ever received is that they control their own fate, all right? They control their own destiny, which is something that's going to happen to an individual or a thing in the near future, which the Most High controls a man's footsteps, okay? As the book of Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24 tells us, Man's goings are of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. How can a man then understand his own way? So, by bringing out Proverbs 20 and 24, that debunks a person that believes that a man is self-willed. Proverbs 20 and 24 again, man's goings, meaning man's footsteps, are of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. How can a man then understand his own way so the things that has happened to you and things that are going to happen to you in the future are of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah that should put you in all fear of the Most High okay because the so-called good times that you reap and the so-called bad times that you reap are of the Lord that's why the book of St. Matthews chapter 6 all right, and this is the Lord's Prayer, okay? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, all right, taught us this 2,000 and some odd years ago, all right, how to pray. And one uh, verse that's in the Lord's Prayer that we should really pay attention to, it says here in St. Matthew 6 and 13, it says, and lead us. Not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. So shall it be, all right? But the point is, and lead us, all right, not into temptation. So we do not lead ourselves, okay? The Most High have already predestinated every footstep that a man could take, all right? Let's read Proverbs 20 and 24 again. A man's goings are of the Lord. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. How can a man then understand his own way? All right? That's why we should say, uh, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. All right? Bless you, Most High. Bless you, Yahweh Shai. All right? For giving us this truth. All right? Because we could have been led into temptation. All right? Now, we pray and give diligence to make our calling of in the election sure. In the times of Jacob's trouble, in the times of all-out turmoil here on the soils of, of America, that we be protected by the protective hedge of Yahweh Shai, all right? Because man's goings are of the Lord. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. Once again, that's why we give diligence to make our calling of in the election sure. We know we've been called, but we don't know that we have been chosen, all right, for salvation. And that should put you in all fear of the Most High. All right, because we don't control our own destiny. All right, just like Esau Edom, he doesn't control the things that he do. The Most High have put Esau Edom in the power seat. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, and verse 1 tells us, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And who is the king of the earth right now? Job 9 and 24. The earth has been given un into the hands of the wicked. And who is the wicked? According to the King James Version. Starting with the top tier elites of the so-called modern day white man. They are the main wicked that's controlling the earth. The scripture says, as the rivers of the waters, he turneth it whatsoever he will. So when Esau, Edom, 
comes down with their new world order trying to uh, implement their RFID chip, NFC chip, it's going to be the orders from the most high. All right? There's no such thing as being self-willed. Okay? The things that you do are the things that was ordained by the most high. Okay? It was predestinated by the most high. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 115. Verse 3, it says, But our power is in the heavens. He have done whatsoever he have pleased. All right? And we pray that we be a part of the elect. And it was pleasing to the Most High to make us a part of the elect. And it's going to be pleasing to the Most High to put the spirit on these Edomites, all right, to come down on the so-called Negroes on down to the so-called Mexicans, which are the true peculiar people of the scriptures, which are the true Hebrew Israelites, all right? Esau Edom is not going to do anything on, on his own. Esau Edom is not doing anything on his own. No man, all right, controls their own destiny, okay? So that means there is no such thing as being self-willed. Let's get the book of Ephesians concerning predestination, all right? Because if we are part of, of that number that is predestinated in Yahweh Shah for salvation, it was through predestination, all right? It was nothing that we did, all right? Here's the book of Ephesians, chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 3. Blessed be the power and father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach. Verse 4, according as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. The point is that we was chosen what? Before the foundation of the world. Verse 5, it says, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Hamashiach in him, according to the good pleasure of his will. All right, let's look into this word, predestinated, because everything that happens, it was predestinated before the foundation of the earth. Predestination, the pronunciation in the Strong's G. Strong's G, 4309. Prarizo. Prarizo. And it says, to predetermine, decide beforehand, all right? To foreordain, appoint beforehand. And that's everything that happens in this life that we're living, all right? Everything was predestinated by who? The Most High, all right? The one that wrote the script that we're living called life, all right? Everything is according to the will of the Most High, all right? Let's get the book of Job, chapter 33, verse 15, and let's read how a man's day play out and how the things that happen in a man's day begin. This is the book of Job, chapter 33, and verse 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep fall up upon men and slumberings upon the bed, and that's a deep sleep when you're in that... Um, Rapid eye movement moment. You know, when your eyes go back and forth from left to right, that's that rapid eye movement. That's when a man is in deep sleep. The scripture says, verse 16, Then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instructions. All right? So when you're in a deep sleep and in a deep slumber, that's when your day is being uh, preordained. All right? It, so there's no such thing as... Uh, fate or self-will everything that happens it was preordained all right and it happens what uh, uh, as job 33 and 15 says in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men and the slumbers upon the bed verse 16 then he opens the ears of men and sealeth their instructions all right verse 17 that he will withdraw men from his purpose and hide pride for man all right so you may think that you're going to go this way uh, on your own accord, 
No, it was already sealed in your mind what you was going to do. That's why we pray that we be led not into temptation, all right, which is the will of the Most High. That's why the hopefully elect in our case give diligence to make our calling of an election sure because we fear the Most High. We, the Most High has had mercy upon us for us to understand these deep mysteries of this life that we're living upon this earth. And we know that there's no such thing as self-will. There's no such thing as um, um, you controlling your own destiny, which is something that's going to happen to you in the future. It's all ordained by the Most High. It was all foretold or forewritten by the Most High. And that should put you in all fear. All right, Lord willing, I pray that this has been edifying. All right, quick recap of the lesson. There is no such thing as a person being self-willed. There is no such thing as a person controlling their own destiny, all right, or their own fate. It's all ordained by the Most High. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Ka Hala Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwadash, double honor to the men who taught me this truth the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's continuing in the work of the only Savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai, in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, I pray that this lesson was edifying and death to America.